Hi, welcome to this, my shop in Canberra called Reptiles Inc. This is just a little introductory video for those people who possibly don't live in Canberra or can't get down here. Uh, this is an opportunity for me to just show you around our shop very quickly. If you'd like to have a look, follow me, so come through. So this is the front of our shop here. Uh, we are working on uh, some more displays and we have some large animals coming out here. But if you want to come through to the shop, we'll show you some more. Uh, it's very uh, recognisable with our uh, logo out the front and uh, I move into the shop here and you get to see the actual retail side of it. And here we have the retail section of Reptiles Inc. So the most popular thing of course most people come here for would be to see our reptiles. Here we have a range of bearded dragons. Now a lot of people think in the ACT they're allowed to sell any reptile we like and that's actually not true. If you're a Canberra resident it takes about two years to get a license to own even a basic thing like a children's python. But in the meantime we do have some exempt animals, some bearded dragons, uh, blue tongues and long neck turtles that you don't need a license for and so here we feature some uh, yearling bearded dragons and some hatchling bearded dragons, which at the moment you're going to find very difficult to see because they're hiding away in them. These enclosures are just for display. Whilst we do mostly reptiles, we also have some insects as well. Spiders, scorpions, like most retailers these days, we've taken an interest in branching into that. We do some fighting fish as well, but we stay mostly away from aquariums. Of course, the one thing if you want to own a reptile you're going to need more than anything else is products. So what we have here, of course, is a huge range of products. And one of the things we pride ourselves in is having uh, just about something from every one of the suppliers here in Australia. We try to give people a really good range and then give them the best advice on what they might need. Of course, people come in here because they love to see the animals. And one thing we are allowed to sell here in Canberra are frogs. Here we have some white-lipped tree frogs. These are actually our store pets which we're keeping to raise up and breed white-lipped tree frogs ourselves. One of the other animals that we get asked for a lot here in the ACT are uh, long neck turtles and this display enclosure here behind the counter uh, shows you just some of our medium sized eastern long neck turtles these little guys here uh, are an exempt species in the ACT which means we don't require a permit to actually sell them but we do have to breed them, we can't just take them out of the wild so long neck turtles uh, are very difficult uh, when they're young to keep but this size are uh, probably a lot easier so we tend to feed, focus, focus on this size a bit more um, one of the other things about Reptiles Inc. that a lot of people may not realise, apart from the reptile, uh, retail, is if you come through here, uh, one of the features of our new location that we like so much is that we actually have this courtyard. So if you come out here to the courtyard, you'll actually see the area that we use for doing live shows. So Reptiles Inc. has been doing live shows for over five years now, and we feature uh, crocodiles, pythons, and other reptiles like that, and we educate people on them. This here is actually our show area. If you come through and have a look, this has uh, only been open since September this year, uh, last year, sorry, 2011. This is actually our seating area where we host uh, educational birthday parties and uh, school talks and shows. And we talk to people about how they keep their reptiles. We also have a bit of fun with it and, and have exhibits and parties here as well. Um, while they're here, uh, the people get to also look at things like our breeding enclosures. This is actually where we breed some of our eastern long neck turtles. Uh, we've had long neck turtles now for over 30 years and uh, we find they breed best when they're outdoors. Um, the other thing people like to see when they come here as well is even though none of these animals are actually for sale, we do actually have a large outdoor breeding area here also for some of our reptiles, uh, blue tongue lizards, shinglebacks uh, and blotched blue tongues which are also species that we're allowed to sell here in the ACT without even requiring a permit. Uh, again, as long as you don't go uh, catching them. At the moment, most of our animals are down for the night because it's quite late in the evening here, so everything's pretty much gone to sleep. So Reptiles Inc. not only retails and educates, we also breed and manufacture. So if you come through here for a quick sneak peek, we'll actually show you our breeding room. So just in here is the Reptiles Inc. Uh, breeding room where we have some small lizards, but mostly live food, crickets, uh, cockroaches, mealworms and stuff like that. So we don't do a lot of that, we mostly breed just for our own customers and our own animals, but behind the camera here, if you turn around, is actually our uh, very small but very efficient little workshop where we manufacture our enclosures. And that's one of the things that separated Reptiles Inc. for many years from most retailers. We custom build tanks to size 
That started because many years ago we knew what we wanted to sell and we just couldn't buy it. It's a very different case now, but we still uh, make a lot of our tanks because we enjoy doing it. So if you come through here, I'll show you some other uh, things that we retail. Now Reptile Inc. has used uh, a lot of shipping containers and stuff like that to be uh, efficient and, and to be eco-friendly. We find them to, to be a really good display uh, in these uh, containers here. We have things like uh, artificial plants, we sell uh, commercial enclosures, and up the end there, although at the moment after Christmas there's not very much left, is where we actually store most of our enclosures once they've been manufactured for retail. And speaking of that, we're now going to take you back into the shop and show you the one thing that separates Reptiles Inc. from most stores. Come through. Uh, we come into the back door here. Uh, this here is one of our uh, reptile padding areas that during the day they will get to come along and experience what it feels like to actually touch some of these animals to get to have a feel and, and to actually see them in, in a comfortable environment. Um, now the main thing I wanted to show you was here we have our reptiles in enclosures. So these enclosures here are probably what we're most famous for. Uh, a lot of people don't realise that uh, nine years ago when we started selling reptile stuff here in the ACT there actually weren't very many uh, suppliers that actually brought in glass tanks. Glass, in fact, was a very unpopular uh, tool for, for making reptile enclosures out of. We, we changed people's opinions by making these very large and interesting style of enclosures and in no small way was helped by the uh, Universal Rocks producing these artificial backgrounds which really brought these glass tanks to life. As most people would know, Universal has moved out of Australia now and is still available, but we do have our own special backgrounds being made for us now in a whole range of different sizes. And that's the one thing that we still seem to get the most notoriety for. So, um, anyway, this has been Reptiles Inc. Just a very quick uh, overview. What we hope to do, if you keep watching this website uh, and using this scan bar, is to show you the development of our Reptile Centre, which will be ready, available, uh, hopefully by mid-2012. And we'd like to show you step by step how we build that, and that's alongside uh, the retail section here. But in the meantime, uh, this is just giving you a small overview of our shop, and we hope to catch up with you at the expos. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you later. Thank you.